Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question is an interesting one having to do with the reference station. This comes from Brian Rogers, KB9LZK. He has the 7300, which I have right here, and this is the reference station radio. He also has the Samlex power supply, which I have over here. And uh, this has meters on it, which show both voltage and current. Now, in the manual for this, and we're going to look at, I think it's in 13. Okay, in the manual, there's a section here on measuring SWR, and it goes on over onto the next page. There's quite a bit of stuff. You can not only measure the SWR on a given frequency, but you can get a graph of it across the band. Okay, so they have spot measurements, which means one frequency, and plot measurements. The plot measurements are the one where you get something that looks approximately like this. Okay, now, the way this thing is says, you're supposed to select the RIDI mode, okay, and adjust the power to more than 30 watts in the multifunction menu, okay, and touch the transmit meter several times, and I'll, I'll show you what that means because it took me a little while to figure that out. Okay, this is the meter right here. If you touch that, it changes function. It's signal strength and ALC. There's signal strength and compression. Signal strength and the, the drain of voltage uh, and the drain current and power out. And here is SWR, okay? So then you put it into RIDI mode like this. It's in RIDI mode. And over here, note that I've got 100 watts on transmit power. So if I push the transmit button here, I can check the SWR, which is quite good, as you can see. It's about 1.5. Now, I want you to notice over here what happens. Watch the power out meter. Okay. Oh my goodness, that thing's putting 100 watts out. And down here, you'll see that the amperage goes ways, uh, way up to close to 20. Okay? So it's putting out a steady tone, and you want to put it out um, not for very long because it's, it's like CW. It's stressing the transmitter a little bit if you keep it in the on position for any length of time. There is a limit to how long you can leave RIDI on, and actually it's a good idea to turn the power down uh, when you're doing that. You can use this button right here. If you push on it, you've got a choice of RF power, monitor, and so on. You choose the different uh, options by touching them. Monitor, RF power, and if you Turn this, you can see the RF power goes down or up. And we had it up at the top, okay? Now, let's take a look at the question that we had, because we've already answered it, okay? Uh, this is from um, Brian Rogers, KB9LZK. He says, thanks for all your videos, greatly appreciated. I am using a fairly new ICOM 7300, Per, uh, currently only on 20 meters. It is tuned toward the top of the band for voice and has a pretty good SWR according to the radio. I purchased the Samlex Power, SEC 1235 power supply. Okay, he got this after he got the radio. Uh, he was running it on a, a truck battery uh, beforehand, which works. Um, got the Samlex Power SEC1235, which is the reference station power supply. And I picked it because it's got both current, or I'm sorry, voltage and current meters on there. And he says, uh, 
he got his thing hooked up and he did an SWR reading and noted that it kicked all the way up to about 20 to 21 amps. Well, we just saw that uh, when we checked SWR. That is perfectly normal if you're using 100% power. And it tells you to use at least 30%, 30 watt power uh, in order to, uh, you know, keep from overheating the radio. We just had it on 100, and that's what you had it set on when you did your uh, testing. Okay, now here's the thing that's confusing him. When he just uses the radio for single sideband, the thing will show just under 10 amps. That's because the peaks of the current, which peak at 20 amps, only do so on voice peaks. And just on the peak, and another peak comes here. In the meantime, the actual current required is less than that. Now, this brings us to the concept of duty cycle. How much is the antenna on compared to the amount of time where it could be on? 100% duty cycle would give you 20 amps. But if you were to have um, just a single sideband voice without compression, uh, you would probably see your meter average around 20 amps and the output meter about 20 watts. That's because the meter can't move as fast as your voice. And so it's going to tend to seek an average or something very like an average. Now, if you use compression and you set up the radio for compression, you can move that duty cycle up to about 40%, which is like a 3 dB half an S unit right there just from having the uh, uh, compression set up. So this is what's happening and why you do not read 20 amps. Now, if you were to whistle into the mic, you would probably see it go up or uh, to close to uh, 20 amps. So the bottom line here is your radio is operating normally. Uh, if you don't want to put out that much power to test the SWR, you can cut it back. The manual suggests you not cut it back beyond down below 30 watts to get a good accurate reading on the SWR. Um, but now, if you use a regular uh, antenna analyzer, um, like this one right here that I just got, and I'm going to do a video on, this antenna analyzer puts out very little power and will tell you the SWR. Extremely low power tell you the SWR. Now, one thing that can fool this is if there is a strong uh, nearby station, um, you'll see that on the SWR, whereas you won't uh, doing this. So if you see a big discrepancy, find out if there's something near you that has a lot of uh, RF power. So I hope that answers your question there. Uh, Brian, It's uh, you've got a perfectly good radio and it is acting normally that's the way it should act in fact we just showed it on there how it does that all HF radios are the same they usually put out a pretty substantial amount of power to measure the SWR now in normal use in theory the SWR meter will kinda hold sorta of steady but it doesn't actually it drops on voice peaks so there you go. I'd like to particularly thank Ann Crampforn, who is a uh, patron of this station. She provides a little bit every month, and that helps um, provide this uh, channel with the funding that it needs to carry on. So if you would like to become a patron, go to patreon.com and pick a level that works for you. And until we next meet, 73. <music>